And let's see what they got. Boom. Pow. Voila. I mean, that is a big, big, big fish right there. This one is a little bit out of nowhere. For those of you who are uh, nearing the brokerage state of your wallets, I wanted to bring you guys a way that you can make money, uh, a business model that might be a little bit different from the typical agency model that you're used to. And um, before we move on and I'll show you guys this, let me just confirm with the person that I'm interviewing today. Uh, it's possible to make millions in this industry, right? Yeah. Okay. That's because that's the reason why I ask is because the people watching this, let me know in the comments, man. You don't really want to learn a business model if it can't take you to millions. Okay. So we're going to get straight to it. Now that we know that you can make a lot of money, guys, I'm going to like get straight to the questions. Um, you know, we don't want to do too much of the extra stuff. This is, uh, what is your name? My name is Kim. From KF Network. KF Network. That's the YouTube channel. That's the website and everything. You guys will be able to check her out and everything after the interview. But I want you guys to like calm your nerves, cool your short attention spans. If you're trying to make money without investment, this is one of the businesses that you want to start. This is a business model that won't require because agency to partner, you guys know that me and Curtis, we're charging 5K. So this is something where you can just book a call with her. She'll let it all out for you and let you know exactly how to start this business model. And you can start making money this month. OK, so let's get straight to it. Um, your name is KF Network. Uh, you have a YouTube channel and you do asset recovery. OK, that's that's cool. All right. So for those of them that don't know what asset recovery is, it is finding the lost property or money of, of a person or a business. OK, so I'm going to let her go into all of that stuff so you guys can know like how you can build your fortune from this. So, number one, can you share a specific uh, story of a business first and then an individual that has received a lot of money from your type of services. Okay, so a lady named Jane that stayed in Wisconsin owned a nail shop, okay? So she didn't know that she was owed this money and it was $6,500. When she was reached out to, she was like, what, what this coming from? So it was from an old insurance policy that she purchased over her building and um, never received the check. She never received I the check. Out. So, so it was like you was like Santa Claus or something. <laughs> yeah. So this, this was like a blessing out of nowhere. So guys, if you guys have been wondering how to not look scammy or shysty or uh, get doors slammed in your face, how to be more charitable and still make a lot of money, as you guys can see, you're going to be blessing people. Like this lady shut down her business, what you say, 15 years ago? Yes. Like, and, yeah, about 15 out of years. nowhere, she got a call and, and she was able to get six thousand five hundred bucks from that. So give us a give us one about uh, an individual, a regular person, though. OK, so when I started this business, <laughs> when I started this business, like I started to like wanted to like help everybody. Right. So I helped my cousin, my cousin, Aracia. And um, she was like, what? I'm like, yes. And showed her. And she didn't give me the exact amount, but I know, know my cousin, I know that if it was small, she would have been like, girl, it was like about 20, 30 bucks, 100 bucks. But she didn't say, she was like, it was a good penny. It was a pretty, pretty penny. <laughs> so I'm happy you told us about that one in particular, because you could have told us about uh, when you helped this dude named uh, Devin, he got like, what, 700 or 600 or something like that. Uh, yeah, and then his, yeah, his check was like 450 and he gave okay. me 50. <laughs> OK, so I'm happy you told us about that one in particular, because there are um, people that you will be helping uh, from what she told me and showed me, guys, that will have so much that they don't even really want to disclose how much it is. That's why it will be like agreement forms and certain like contracts in place. So you'll make sure you get all of what you're owed and everything. Uh, but that was when she first started. And that was her cousin. So we know she took it to the uh, freaking boat. You understand? And probably did some little gambling with that. Right. <laughs> OK. All right. So number two, my bad. What inspired you to start this business? What was the reason you like went professional with it? Like after you got a, a little bit of money for you and your family, what was the reason you said, yo, I want to start a business like this? OK, so after like doing my research and seeing thousands upon thousands of thousands of dollars, you guys abandoned with names attached to it. It just inspired me because I'm like, these people don't know. They don't have a clue. So what if, you know, I get some advertising going and actually show these people that, you know, that they have this money waiting for them. And it's a lot of them don't want to like, hey, girl, you was right. You know what I'm saying? They just like it was, you know, it was true. And they just gone about their life. But I really don't care. I'm not doing it 
for me. I'm doing it for them, you know. So. Okay, that's noble. That's noble. Okay, well, for the people watching, this is probably a new business model for them. So, like, can you elaborate on, uh, what, like, what types of sources would they be like finding this unclaimed money for from? Okay, so the money comes from um, insurance policies. It could come from abandoned bank accounts, um, utility deposits that you put down and forgot about. Say, uh, safe deposit boxes, saving bonds, just a list of things that that goes unclaimed. Dang! So basically, y'all dig up the like y'all dig up the skeletons. You hear me and find the money. If they buried the money with King Tut and his tomb, you'll find it in there, huh? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where okay. I was at. So y'all heard it. So okay. So the exciting part. Why another reason y'all want to stay and watch all the way to the end, guys, is not just because you're going to be able to book a call with her for like super cheaper than she would usually charge. You're going to be no chorus or nothing like that yet. You're going to book a call with her and she's going to give you the entire business model, how to start up, how to do all of the different things that she's going to tell you about. But the reason why you want to stay to the end of this in particular is because she's going to give a quick demonstration of how to find the businesses and what type of businesses to go after, like the niches and how much uh, they can get and how much you can get for helping them. So that's the most exciting part about this interview. So it makes well, there's one of them. All right. So let's move on. So now we know what type of places that the unclaimed money comes from. Um, so here's a question. Uh, if it's so easy, I know the audience is asking, if it's so easy to do, how come the business owners or the uh, the individuals won't just go do it themselves? OK, so in this industry, um, it's hard. Well, I won't say that it's hard. I'll just say that the labor is so much, you know, money gets reported every single day so a person like the the state they don't i don't i wouldn't say that they don't have the means to do it i think that they don't want to do it but the information is not out there so a lot of people don't know that's the reason why a lot of people just right. don't know so uh, you can't really claim the money if you don't know it exists exactly exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. so i want to say something and add to that guys a lot of y'all be skeptical and i ain't trying to bash but y'all be skeptical like yo if it's that easy then why people ain't already going to do it or do this if a person don't know nothing about it, then there's nothing. In the, how they going to do it? Like, how they going to go claim it themselves? How they going to do that? On top of that is mistakes they can make along the way. You understand? So or they might just be too busy because you're not just going out to regular people sitting on the couch watching Netflix. The big money that she's going to teach you guys about is going after the businesses and recovering their assets and their funds. And from all of these different insurance claims and all of this exciting stuff that, that we're talking about, we're going to get to in a minute how much you as a, a person starting in this business can expect to actually make in your first couple months too. So I know y'all are excited about that, man. I'm super blessed to be able to have uh, KF Network on here too. Okay, so now, uh, let's see. What are the challenges? Okay, so once a person, a smart, wise person is watching this right now, books uh, a, a coaching session with you guys, uh, with you um, to learn this, what can they expect to learn on that coaching call? Like, okay, so you will learn first and foremost how to start, how to be legalized, how to have your ducks in a row, all right? And then next, we're going to show you how to position, okay? So Because there's a lot of people that gets up in this industry and they do the same thing as the other person and, do, do, and don't see the results that they want to, all right? Yeah. So we're going to help yep. you out in that area. Then we're going to help you how to delegate because you don't want to get in this business and be a slave to it, okay? <laughs> And then last and foremost, to bring in another income, you're going to do what I'm doing today is showing you, showing others, teaching others how to do this. Boom. So you spread the wealth and you spread the knowledge. That's where I was at, man. See, a lot of people learn things, uh, get them working, make money from it, and then they keep it to themselves because they're afraid of getting the course uh, uh, guru title on them and everything. But if you're actually helping people and actually teaching people to make money, it's a duty. It's like it should be part of your life's duty to teach a person. Why wouldn't you want to teach a person something that freed you? All right. So, guys, if you're watching this right now, you have some type of skill or something that helped you in any way. Don't don't worry about, oh, oh he's another one of those courses. And it's been colleges forever. How many people are successful from college? Probably none. But people just keep going into them. So don't be afraid of, oh, oh, he's being a guru or she's being a guru. If you know something and people will pay to learn that and change their lives, you got a duty to do that. Um, all right, but I ain't gonna get to preaching. You know how I do. So we learned. So she, so number one, see, when you, when you guys book a coaching call today, the booking calendar will be in the first pin comment and in the uh, in the description. 
Uh, I strongly suggest it. Uh, when you book a call, you're going to learn how to get started, like the fastest way, like quickly. You're going to learn uh, what was the second one? How to position, my bad, yeah. how to position yourself. That way you're not doing the, the methods that everybody else is doing. Like one of the things she was telling me is that people get lists from the county and then they just sit and cold call those lists all day and these people just be hanging up on them. But we're getting into that stuff. So positioning yourself. And then uh, what was the third one? Delegating. Delegating. Delegating so that it, it can be more of an agency type thing instead of you being an individual like <laughs> or a solopreneur. Right. So you can have your time and your freedom, not just financial freedom, but time freedom as well. And what was the fourth one? And the other one is teaching others. There you go. Now you can scale and you can be you can feel good about what you chose to do as a business model. Uh, listen, I, I already I'm already trying to send y'all and we still got all this stuff left to discuss. Hopefully put a put a put a, a hashtag. Yes, Lord, in the comments. If you are excited about this business model, if you're going to start your own asset recovery agency and get paid to deliver people money that they didn't even know anything about businesses as well. You can help businesses expand with this. You understand? Like they have no idea. Right. OK, so I would like to also add that this is um, an industry that is growing and it doesn't matter on how many people that come in and try to form their own businesses. It money goes reported. They said money goes reported like 500 accounts get added every single day. Woo. Man. So basically, okay. we, we don't have to be in a, a, a scarcity mindset then. Mm -hmm. More than enough for everybody to eat. That's what exactly. she's telling me. Exactly. So don't get, you know, don't think like, oh my God, everybody getting up in this industry. Don't think that way because you, if you think different, you will make different. Boom. And I told y'all before, like, you know, if you become the only, like how she's going to teach you guys the position, these other dudes, I've done my little research a little bit. These other dudes don't position. They barely have websites or any of that. Like you go and all they do, like it's channels. You can search this stuff on YouTube, guys. And they just tell you to go get a list and start cold calling people. No wonder don't nobody really stick to it and everything. No, how she's doing it is genius. And that's why I put it, put brought her on here because she uses a lot of the stuff that I teach y'all. So combining this business model where you don't even have to charge a business owner up front. You don't have to charge an individual up front. So it's no there's no nothing blocking you. You don't have any friction. All right. As soon as they say, OK, let's do this. You can start getting them their money and they can start giving you your money from it. OK, All right, let's move on. Is this legal? <laughs> is this legal? Yes, it is legal. OK, so it is illegal for a business to hold someone's money that they're not that, you know, that is not working for them anymore. So they have to report that. They mm. um, banks have to report if a person don't come and pick up their check and it's just sitting mm. there in the bank closed. They have mm. to report that. So that is it's legal. All right. Wow. So it's the only thing that is illegal is charging up front for these services. OK, cool. Yeah, I heard it. You see how much value you getting? Come on, put a hashtag. Yes, Lord. Let's do it, man. If you're going to do this. If y'all going to book this good old session with her, go ahead and put hashtag let yes Lars in the comment. You know what I'm saying? I, I brought her on her. Like we got Curtis and everything. Uh, but our our product or our service, our membership for agency to partner uh, is expensive. A lot of you guys act like you don't have that. So, you know, there's a lot of you in there already. But but there's some of you guys who want to make money. And like I got a lot of people from different countries and stuff, too, uh, that can't afford five thousand dollars right now. So I started thinking like, OK. Um, a lot of my audience is agency owners and, and entrepreneurs. What is something of something they can either add to their agency or an, a totally, completely different business model that they can make money from where they won't even have to charge clients up front or they don't have to like pay a lot or pay much to get started with. So it came to mind when I was looking at some of your content, I was like, yo, that would be perfect for them. Building an asset recovery agency would be perfect for them. So it's legal, y'all. It's legal. You ain't got to worry about nothing. And matter of fact, you don't even want to charge anybody up front for this. OK, so now let's move on. We got the legal. Um, oh, one of my favorite questions I know that they've been asking. So once they book a coaching session with you today um, and keep in mind, guys, her coaching sessions are usually three hundred dollars per hour, three hundred dollars you know, for a time. But as as a gift to moi, she was gracious enough to go ahead and do it for you guys for only forty nine freaking dollars 49 bucks 
Are y'all hearing me? Okay, so 49 bucks, guys. So uh, it should be like a flood of y'all rushing uh, like it's Black Friday or something to that link in the first pin comment. That's going to be the booking calendar. You can book the schedule. All right. Um, when you want to actually talk to her and get help with this. But so now, you know, it's legal, you know, it's going to have all of that. So go ahead and put the icing on the cake with the cherry on top. Let them know what a new person that books this session with you can expect uh, if they put in the work, the, uh, you know, monthly. Oh, my God. I'm out of money. OK, I would say with a person that is set up correctly, 20K to 50K, you mm. can expect to do that if you are set up correctly. And if you are knowledgeable and you book that session and I show you how to fill up your pipeline where you can bring that in monthly. Mm. Let me hear the one. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that sound delicious, y'all? I mean, a lot of y'all got a crap load of clients and haven't even reached 20K per month with them. And you got to do all this fulfillment and all of this. She literally, just a few businesses, she can help them and hit 20K per month. Now, when you start like delegating this and getting partners and stuff that she explained me to me, then you'll be able to take on more deals and you can pass that. But just a reasonable amount, 20 to 50K, you guys can uh, uh, expect that and hope for that. OK, so now let's check this out. Um, all right. So when they go ahead and uh, book this call with you, what what type of support can they expect? Like what support do you have set up for them? OK, so when they come in, they'll be added to our community and they will be and uh, have access to coaching calls. OK, so that's like straight to the meat of things. A lot of yeah. you guys are used to courses and all of that. She don't even have one of those yet. Eventually she will. Right. But right now you get straight to the meat. You get to like speak with her and be in the community and deal with other people like you that are on different levels and everything like that and have. Uh, you know, uh, uh, information to like rapidly scale uh, your asset recovery agency, guys. So you can like start earning quickly with this. So that's where is it, man? Okay, so support. So she's not just gonna dip on you guys, all right? So now let's see. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Give me one or two industries that a newbie can make a lot of money from without spending any of their own money. And without any experience, just by booking a call with you and implementing. Go ahead. Law firms and roofing companies. Law firms and roofing companies. Mm -hmm. Tell me why real quick. OK, so law firms, they they have to invest in insurance policy. So like, say, for established, that has been open a law firm company that has been open for like 10 years. All right. So they pay for MetLife insurance for five years. That insurance goes into closing and is left with a check. And then the next five years, they'll probably move or somewhere and they uh, get a different type of life insurance, um, another life insurance. And then that, <laughs> that life insurance goes and does the same thing as MetLife. So they left, they, they leave the check there. The check is just there, you guys. Like they don't even know nothing about it. My bad. A call came in. So I don't even know if, you, if, if we recorded that. So you said um, insurances, uh, insurance policies like from MetLife, uh, if, if the, the company has that for like, you know, 10 years, the, the uh, what's the company you said law firm has that once that yeah. insurance policy closes, it leaves a check and then they yeah. end up having to open another insurance policy. And when that right. one closes, it, it leaves a check. So it's going to be like all of these just leftover checks that they really don't know about a lot of them. Exactly. Because, guys, you got to remember a lot of these businesses, if you're an agency owner right now, you understand. Um, these businesses don't have enough time to even do their own marketing. They're in the business of doing what they're in the business to do. So why would you think that they have enough time to go and search money and unclaimed stuff and all of that stuff? They're too busy trying to make new, right? So that's where I was at. So go ahead and give me, uh, okay, so you said lawyers and you said roofing companies. Cool. Yeah. Give me what distinguishes you. What What is the reason a person should go ahead and book a call and learn how to do this with uh, with you Versus going with these other dudes that teach asset recovery on YouTube. They're, they're charging like hella prices and stuff, high prices for their courses. And you're just going to get on a call with them for 49 bucks and give them everything. What Other than that, other than the discount, because we want people to choose you based off a of price. Right. What makes you different? What are you going to teach them? OK, so I'm going to teach them how to get into this industry and not become a slave in it, because 
most of you guys that get into this industry, y'all go straight to cold calling and straight to the old okie doke when you get into this business. I'm going to teach you how to position. So these calls come to you. So you won't be calling people and getting cursed out. When they call mm. you, you mm. will be in demand. You mm. will be able to control the conversation. Like, baby, I can help you. Okay? Yes, Lord. That's yes. Lord. Man, so that's what makes me different. That's what makes her different. That she will make sure that you're positioned in a way in your state or your market to be in demand where people are coming to you. Because most of these dudes, I seen it when I was researching. They show you to get a list and then you start cold calling, sounding desperate. Just like I be telling y'all with your regular agencies. Y'all be cold calling, cold DMing, and doing all this regular stuff that a million other people are doing, and you look desperate. So we want to create like inbound opportunities. And when she's going to teach you how to do that, it's going to help you grow way faster while not looking desperate. Man, it was awesome. So we're going to clip to a scene and she's going to show you guys a demonstration of her actually live going and like finding one of these businesses that has an astronomical amount of money uh, uh, that they have no idea about. And she's just going to bless them with it. All right. So let's clip to that scene. And you guys go ahead and book that call. If you don't book the call, like I don't understand what's going on with you. It's only 49 bucks when she usually charges. OK, so I'm about to show you exactly the steps that I take into searching for businesses and, um, you know, getting ready to help them. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to type in unclaimed. We're going to click here. All right. So you click here and you will be directed. You click search claim and you'll be directed here. OK, so search by name, you search by name or you can search by um, the business name. So I'm going to, for example, I'm going to put truck and then I'm going to click search. All right. So as you guys can see, one thing that I love about Wisconsin is that it they are transparent on the dollar. All right. So this say less than 10, this say 10 to 100, and this say more than 100. So what I would do is I want to I want to go towards the big fish, all right? So this is a company that is called Trucking, all right? So they have two accounts right here. And they it was been reported this year, all right? So 2023. So we're just going to click here and we're going to click claim. All right, so when we get in contact with these people, um, when our systems get in contact with these people, we're going to let them know. So they will give us the go ahead. All right. They will give us permission to locate this. So if they give us permission to locate, we'll click yes. But we are not we are not doing that right now. So we just basically saying how much they have. All right. So we're going to click no. Like we are filing it for ourselves. All right. And then as you can see, you can see the amount. All right. So uh, connect us. Credit union is the holder that owes them a thousand and fifteen bucks. So in the state of Wisconsin, you only can charge ten percent. All right, ten percent on their amount. All right, so you'll get a hundred and fifteen bucks. All right. So and this is exactly what I do, or I have another person to do. Um, I continue to look through the list because right now that is a little bit too small for me. So I will go back and then I will go remove this. And then I will go down and look. All right. So here go another one. Truck equipment. That's a company. It's more than other. It's more than a thousand. All right. Trucker, traveler, trucker. See, look at that. 10 to 100. Probably like 45 bucks or something. All right. So Truck Express, state of Colorado, more than a thousand. Let's click on this. And it's been reported since 2012. So this has been sitting here since that time. All right. So we're going to click no. And let's see what they got. Boom. Pow. Voila. I mean, that is a big, big, big fish right there. So you claim you have them. You have Truckers Express claim this. You would get nineteen hundred bucks. So almost two grand. Now, tell me this. This this is what I'm saying is, y'all, this company is very underrated. This business, this industry is underrated. This the unclaimed um, money finder business is underrated. You can definitely make a kill in doing this, you guys. And this is one of my favorite things that I like to do. I love to go fishing. I love to go see or whatever, you know, and reach out to them and get my cut and just move on. They be happy. It's very, very noble. This is a very noble uh, business, you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I know I said in the in the interview that um, law firms and roofings are a great place to start. Um, this morning, <laughs> before the interview, I was doing a little research. So trucking is another one. OK, so um, I hope this was informational for you guys. Um, see you on the other side.